Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song called Worried Man Blues by the Carter Family. And we end up capoing this on third fret to kind of match the recording, but we start out on a G major chord, and when you play G major, first finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And we end up doing four G majors through our, our main first chord. And then we go to a C major chord. And when we play C major, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. That sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going right back to the G major chord. And then we do another G major. And then we go to a D major chord. And when we play D major, first finger goes to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. That sounds really, really happy. And then from the D, we're gonna be going right back to our G major and doing another G major. So through our whole verse form, we got kind of that G, 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 C, C, G, G, D, D, G, G. A lot of times to make things more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you took the G and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So we tried that through our main verse uh, chorus. We'd have G, down, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, G. through that part too and if you wanted to follow that part I'm kind of moving things by octave on this actually but but you start on the open D and then another open D a second on the D open G another open G second on the G and then open B and another open B second on the G open G and another open G and then second on the D another second on the D and then fourth fret on the D open G open G, second on the D, and then open D, second on the D, open D, and then second on the A, and then open D, and then open G, and then four on the D, open G, second on the G, and then open G, open B, second on the G, open G, four on the D, and then open G. <laughs> so if you want to kind of follow that, Millie, you're going O, O, two, O, O, two, O, O, two, O, O, two, two, four, O, O, two, O, two, O, two, O, four, O, two, two, O, 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 two, O, four, O. If you wanted to kind of follow that melody. Now the weird part is to play along with the Carter family though, instead of starting on a G major chord, actually starting on something closer to a B-flat major. You may have to adjust this a little bit um, for be with old recordings, it happens like that. But what you want to do is take a capo on 3rd fret, and then if you kind of play your G major, it's really a B-flat major chord. Your C major is really an E-flat major chord, and your D major is really an F major chord, if you want to kind of match that original recording. And you could kind of play around with that opening melody even if you wanted to, that O, O, two, O, O, two, O, O, two, O, You try the, the strum pattern and then we'd have G with a down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up.
something else I think about adding to the song too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, that was a down, down, up, up, down, up, you could throw in a bass for the chord. So on the G, you'd have the Louis for the bass. When you get to the C chord, you have the A string for your bass. I think about doing is more something akin to a country bass feel. And in a country bass line, a lot of times the bass player plays what's called the root of the chord, which is the name of the chord. So the root of a G is a G note. And then he played this something called the fifth. So like if you count it up five from G, G, A, B, C, D is, is what's called the fifth. So you could do the low E string for your root of the chord and then a down up and then the D string for your fifth and then a down up. I call that country feel. in that you can kind of take your thumb and use him for the bass player for the E and the A and the D string. Your index finger can kind of get lined up to the G string, middle finger to the B string, and ring finger to the high E string. And one really easy arpeggio to start with is kind of going thumb, index, middle, ring, just straight through the, the, the fingers. Thumb, index, middle, ring. So I'm kind of playing the low E string, G string, and then the B string and the E string with the right hand. And if you do that twice, it kind of takes the place of the down, down, up, up, down. So we have G, 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 and then C, C. Actually, one time could be a very cool way to work it. G, da, da, D, D, G. Especially if you're starting out, that might be a cool way to do it. Now, you can also do it really fast and kind of get this to work. And you can even alternate between the root and the fifth and make it like a country finger style. Another idea that might be kind of cool, especially with the strumming, if you're kind of digging on the bass notes in the country field, and it is you could try and kind of work that, that that melody line around the chords. I'm just kind of throwing this out as a free form, but just that.
kind of play around with it too. But that's the basics of how you get strung through Worried Man Blues by the Carter family. So good luck!